Hi. Welcome once again to Cult Films. Beware. Horror lies ahead. Dr. Rose is a therapist that works in a psychiatric ward where she attends to mentally ill patients. She receives a new patient Laura Weaver who had witnessed a professor bludgeon himself with a hammer and it's experiencing psychological trauma. Laura tells Rose that she is not insane, that she is being haunted by an entity that only she can see, that it manifests as a horrible smile on people and that it will end up killing her. Rose tells her that she might be emotionally overwhelmed. <laughs> Laura screams and falls from her chair. She starts having an attack and is start squirming on the floor while screaming desperately that it is here. Rose calls on the phone, and when she turns back to look at Laura, she is up and directly staring at her, with a horrible smile on her face. With a piece of glass she starts to cut her face all the way across the neck while always maintaining that sinister smile. Her dead body falls to the ground but still staring at Rose smiling. The policeman Joe and his partner, interrogate Rose on her patient's death and asks her if she considers that in fact Laura was crazy, she says that she might have been suffering paranoid delusions. Rose. She drops the glass of wine when Trevor her fiancé turns on the light, she tells him that she is felling bad for witnessing her patient slash her throat earlier. Rose attends to another patient, when she enters the room he has the smile, and starts aggressively screaming at her that she is going to die. She calls security and has him restrained, but it turns out the patient was asleep and unjustly attacked. Concerned for Rose's mental well-being and being possibly traumatized for witnessing her patient die, her supervisor Dr. Morgan tells her to relax gives her a paid week off. Rose starts to listen to the audio of Laura's file looking for clues. She is knocked out of her chair by the scare, she goes to the kitchen and grabs a knife, Trevor comes out yelling at her to please calm. Rose goes to her therapist and tells her about the incident, in the conversation it is revealed that she had a strained relationship with her mentally ill mother, who overdosed and whose body was discovered by a young Rose. The next day at her nephew's birthday party, she brings him a wrapped present. After they sing the happy birthday, they proceed to open the gifts, with great joy the boy proceeds to open it, it was a dead cat, everybody in the party looks in horror. Rose grabs the dead cat while crying and screaming to everybody to believe it wasn't her. Then the smile appears on one of the guests, making her trip with a glass table breaking it slashing her arms in the process. When they gets home from the hospital, Trevor tells her that she is going insane and that he thinks she is crazy because her mother also was, that it is genetic and that he might not want to marry her now. Rose tells him that she is scared that something bad is going to happen, discovering that Laura's professor was smiling at her during his death. Rose pays a visit to his widow, who claims that her husband started acting differently after witnessing a woman die by suicide, and that he was tormented by smiling demons, as she shows her his drawings. Then she visits Joel, a police detective who had responded to Laura's death. Going through police records, they find a chain of cases where someone suffered apparently supernatural hauntings before killing themselves, smiling, and passing the hauntings on to a witness. Rose visits her sister in an attempt to show her the evidence and explain everything but she only tells her that she is going crazy like their mother did. Then Rose gets back in the car and her sister approaches. It was the smile, she screams in horror as her little nephew watches from the window. Joel then calls Laura and tells her that a man named Robert Talley is the only known survivor of the chain of suicides, he survived the curse by killing someone in front of another person. Rose and Joel visit Talley in jail, where he explains that the only way to break the chain is to kill someone else in front of a witness to who the curse will transfer, as he finds out that Rose has the curse he freaks out and starts screaming for her to get away. Rose arrives at her home and her therapist knocks on the door, she says that she has to make sure by law that Rose is not a danger to herself or to anyone else. As they speak the therapist reveals to be the smile, tells her that it is almost time and then grabs her by the face, she then arrives at the hospital with a knife, and then to a patient's room, she corners him in with a knife and starts to stab him while Dr. Morgan watches it all and peels his face off. She wakes up, it was a dream. Dr. Morgan sees her in the parking lot and tells her to enter the hospital, but Rose drives away. She heads to a remote house, where she used to live with her late mother and sister in hopes of not seeing anyone and thus if killing herself not passing it to anyone else. That way she can deprive the curse of a witness and stop it from spreading. There she starts to see the demon as her mother, and it reveals that Rose had the opportunity to call for help when her mother overdosed but she refused to do so resulting in her mother's death. The curse transforms into a tall deformed version of her mother, the entity attacks her and Rose responds breaking the oil lamp on her, this sets her on fire, the house also starts burning and it seems she killed the curse. Rose drives to Joel's apartment, they start speaking, and suddenly Joel tells her that he will stay forever with her, and starts making the smile as everything turns dark. 
She runs out of Joel's apartment only to realize it had been an hallucination and that she is still in the old house and that it never burned down. The real Joel arrives, Rose locks herself in the house, and the entity as her enormous mother appears and starts to shift into a monstrous teeth long neck creature. It forces its way into Rose's gaped mouth and it crawls into her body. Joel breaks the door, he enters and finds a gasoline drenched Rose, with a smile on her face and matches on her hands, as Joel witnessed she lights herself on fire. Passing the curse onto him. Trivia, the film was originally titled Something's Wrong with Rose before being renamed Smile. The film is based on Parker Finn's short film, Laura Hasn't Slept. Caitlin Stacy reprises her role as Laura in the feature version of the short, as the woman who kills herself in front of Rose. The movie was shot in the city of New Jersey, during several Major League Baseball games the weekend before the film's release, an apparent viral marketing stunt occurred, as the studio or marketing firm purchased seats behind home plate, with actors smiling maniacally into the camera for the pitcher batter shot for extended periods of time. Comments, if you're looking for a serious and intriguing horror movie experience, this one is perfect for you. It's got drama, it's got horror, it will break your heart one minute and scare the hell out of you the next. It's a deep exploration into trauma and its effects, it merges psychological horror with supernatural in a very harmonious way. The writing is outstanding and the acting is very good. The relationships between the characters are well developed throughout the film. It is very dynamic and the sound design, photography, and camera angles combine together to immerse you in the feeling of dread that this movie carries with it. A special mention to the music of the movie, from the first moment and all throughout the film manages to keep you immersed with very high quality and original ambience that fits the darkest nightmares. Smile overall is very creepy, a lot of violent and nightmarish passages in this film that any horror fan will surely enjoy. In 2022 we've seen plenty of dark comedy merged with horror like Barbarian or Terrifier 2. This one takes itself very seriously and manages to be reminiscent of films like Hereditary or The Ring with high doses of dramatic horror. We strongly recommend this one as it stands out as one of the best horror films of this year according to our team. But, did you like this movie? Please tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, watch out and take care.